The Earth is the cradle of humanity. But one doesn't always live in the cradle. First, inevitably, the idea, the fantasy, the fairy tale. Then, scientific calculation. Ultimately, fulfillment crowns the dream. Man will not always stay on Earth. The pursuit of light and space will lead him to penetrate the bounds of the atmosphere, timidly at first, but in the end, to conquer the whole of solar space. Man must at all costs overcome the Earth's gravity and have in reserve the space at least of the solar system. Never do things others can do and will do if there are things others cannot do or will not do. Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot live in a cradle forever. My main purpose in life is to do something useful for my fellow men, not to live my life in vain, to propel mankind forward if only by a fraction. That is why I became interested in that which gave me neither bread nor power. But I am in hopes that my work, perhaps soon, perhaps only in the distant future, will yield society heaps. The blue distance, the mysterious heavens, the example of birds and insects flying everywhere are always beckoning humanity to rise into the air. The world is desperately imperfect. Even if a quarter of the working people were engrossed in new thoughts and inventions and lived off the others, humanity would still gain tremendously thanks to the constant stream of inventions and intellectual work emerging from this horde of people striving upward. All the universe is full of the life of perfect creatures?